In this video, we're going to talk about the else statement or the if else statement. And to do that, we're going straight back to our code and we're going to build further on the code that we already have. So we know that this piece of code is going to be found true and that this piece of code is going to run. Something that's intertwined with the if statement is the else statement. And let's say that we want to actually lower the B if we run this piece of code by not saying an addition, but a minus. And let's run it and see if it does any difference. So let's run it. And as you can see, it still says six. So it didn't do anything. But what happens if I now delete this piece and Instead of an unequal sign, I say an equal sign. So is B going to be the same as A? Well, they won't, so this is going to be false. So what is it going to do now? If you run it, you can see that the answer now is two. And that's because when if statement is not true, then it's going to look if there's an else statement. If that's the case, then it's going to run the else statement instead of the if statement and it's going to execute this piece of code. You can actually chain these two to each other and you can create an else if statement. And how this works is I'm going to say something different and again else. I'm going to say that b is b times two. Now you might wonder how is this going to work? Well, it's actually really easy to read because it's going to say, if e is equals to b, then b plus two. If that's not the case, is e lower than b? If that's the case, b is b minus two. If that's also not the case, then we're going to use b is b times two. And let's run it and let's see what it says. It's going to say eight. Well, A is not equal to B, so it's not going to run this. It's going for the else statement. And A is not lower than B because A is five and B is four. So it's not going to also run this statement. And it's going to the else statement of this if statement, which is B is B times two. So, this was a really quick intro. You can also play around yourself. So if statements are really nice, if you want to put some logic in your code and you want to do certain actions based on certain contexts. So, so this way you can define what it should do when A is the same as B, A is lower than B, or A is higher than B, or A is two times higher than B. And maybe you want to do something different in each case which is the if statement great for.